everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back again to discuss the ending of Darlene Michaud's 72-hour sardine challenge. Um, since we last talked about it, she's actually posted two new videos, so my game plan today is to recap uh, part three and then we'll react together to part four. Um, part four should be, I believe, the end of the 72 hours. So we should be able to get her full thoughts, experience, etc., all together while we watch it here on my channel. Um, but I will quickly recap part three and I'll leave timestamps so that you can skip to whichever part you want to watch the most. If you do, otherwise feel free to join me here to watch the whole thing. How about that? <laughs> How about that? So unfortunately, she doesn't have very creative names for these videos so it really is just like sardine challenge part three sardine challenge part four so sardine challenge part three starts out with her sounding like she's in a little bit of distress over the day she had regarding how much sardines she could consume. In fact, she talked about the second can of sardines she ate on Monday as being not joyful. I had a can at 6.30. And, you know, it was a little bit, hmm, I don't know, not as joyful getting down my throat. But of course she made herself eat it anyways. And then she did end up having a second can, or actually that would be her third can, about an hour later that day at 7.30 p.m. Now, she is a little bit confusing in the way that she talks about her hunger and her appetite. And I don't necessarily always understand what she's talking about when it comes to appetite and hunger. For instance, she talks about how after somehow only eating butter and three cans of sardines that day that she had an extreme lack of appetite. This was so to the extreme of having no appetite that I couldn't even imagine eating anything ever again. Certainly not sardines. And before I go too much further with that, I do want to say that I think it's interesting that not only at this part of the video, but in other parts of the video that she emphasizes that in particular, she couldn't imagine the thought of eating sardines again, as though she found that idea of only eating sardines repulsive, as though maybe uh, trying to limit yourself to only eating one specific food, specifically one <laughs> that is sardines, is a bad idea, you know? What could go wrong with all of that? But the thing about the appetite versus hunger versus whatever, whoever, that's confusing to me is that moments later in this video, she does go on to say that she was in fact hungry and wanted food. I was like hungry, not craving hungry, not wanting to eat hungry, but just my stomach just felt like it wanted food. And so to me, that's just so confusing. I don't understand what she's saying here, that just because she didn't have an appetite to eat sardines, that like she wasn't hungry. I don't know, because for me, if I have an appetite, it means I'm hungry, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know, is that confusing to anybody else? I guess I could see a world where like sometimes I don't have an appetite but I know I need to eat something. Like if I'm not feeling well, sometimes I know that like the best thing to do is to probably have like some chicken noodle soup even if I'm not feeling super great or something. You know what I'm saying? That's like the only time that I can think of. And if anything, that takes me back to her in a previous video saying that like sometimes she, she doesn't eat and the only way she knows she needs to eat is because she gets a headache, and to me that is an alarming red flag. So anyway, she goes on to try to rationalize only eating three cans of sardines that day plus butter because she thinks that the doctor who lost her medical license in South Dakota because she was a convicted felon, she thinks that doctor in particular might have said that it was okay to get by with just a few cans of sardines a day. And I thought, I did have three cans, and Dr. Boz said you probably won't need more than a couple cans. She might have said three, four maybe. I don't know what, exactly what she said, but three was like one of the options. So I thought I could just, you know, be good with the three cans and uh, and just wait until tomorrow. But again, with the, the appetite and hunger thing, she goes on to say that she was upset by the challenge 
uh, and how it was working out because she really wanted to eat. So I had a rough night because I don't sleep well on an empty belly. And I was very, very sad that this challenge wasn't going to work for me in as much that, you know, that I could do that once in a while. Uh, and it was even making me mad because I want to eat. And it's like, of course you wanted to eat. You only had three fucking tins of sardines, girly girl. Like, what What do you mean? Of course you're hungry. Of course you want to eat something. But she also goes on to claim that she doesn't force herself to do anything that she wouldn't want to do. I don't, I don't force myself to do anything. I do what my body says. But I um, was really concerned about eating such a little amount of calories because I am not one to restrict. But it's like, girl, you could just go eat some beef if you're hungry. If that's like really what you want to do, you could just go do it. <laughs> Why are you forcing yourself not to? It's silly. And speaking of beef, she was laying in bed fantasizing about the way she likes to eat her beef in bed. I wanted to eat. My stomach was growling and I thought if I could just have some beef next to me <laughs> as I do I'll lay down with my iPad on a pillow on my belly and a, my bowl of beef beside me and just in my bed can go up so I can raise my head and I have a lot of pillows anyway so um I was I was just sad and very worried and I thought just don't worry big deal big fucking deal you're gonna force yourself to eat sardines tomorrow and as wild as that sounds girl that, what what is stopping you from making that fantasy a reality? <laughs> go get your bowl of beef and eat it. And she continues to go on. I'm not going to show you any specific clips, but she continues to go on and on about how she's upset at the idea of having to force herself to eat more sardines and that it's not something that she really wants to do, but she doesn't want to quit because she wants to complete the challenge. I just want to preface, as I always do when it comes to talking about eating and things like that, I'm not a professional in any sense of the word. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not any of those things, so feel free to take this with a grain of salt. And I'm also not here to diagnose anybody, but what I will say is that this feels a lot like disordered eating. Like, if you're at the point where you're not eating anything because you don't want to eat a sardine, like, that's concerning to me. And I'm, I'm just saying that from, like, a place of, like, actual concern. Again, not diagnosing anybody, not doing anything like that. It just feels like red flag behavior to me. So the next day, despite being super hungry and not being able to sleep the night before because she was so hungry, which is also something I feel like I have not mentioned yet, but she had trouble sleeping the night before because she was so hungry from only eating three cans of sardines and some butter. Um, she wakes up and she doesn't eat anything until 1.30 p.m. where she decides to try to make herself have a can of sardines, but doesn't use mustard or, or Tabasco sauce this time. Just put some black pepper on it and it changes everything for her. I also think it's interesting because at one point she's going over like the nutrition content of each can of sardines, which is really not all that interesting, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. So we're not gonna talk about it too much, but during that rant, she does talk at length about how she goes about in her head, doing the mental gymnastics in her head, to justify the use of Tabasco sauce and mustard, even though they do come from plants, um, as not being a problem on carnivore uh, because of the massive amount of meat she eats. And if I want to add anything, I'll add my own because I make sure that I buy like a uh, hot sauce that has no sugar and stuff like that. And I know, not carnivore. I'm, we're not treating that as carnivores. We're not treating that as food. I eat tons of meat and a little bit of Tabasco sauce. I'm using it as flavor. And I just want to remind you that this is coming from a woman that when she initially bought these 15 cans of sardines had an issue with them having trace amounts of wheat and the, the devil's soy in it, okay? She, she was upset that there were trace amounts, but it's totally chill to have other plants because she has a massive amount of meat every day. I also wanna say I acknowledge that I got a lot of questions 
about me bringing up beef piss and or other types of meat piss from people who maybe don't know all the lore or haven't watched every single video that I've posted about Darlene. But it basically comes down to that she believes that beef is a diuretic, that beef melts and turns into piss, and she reiterates that as much in this video. Carnivores do not need fiber. I don't think anybody does. Fiber is there to push the toxic shit out of you. Um, carnivores barely poop. Barely. Barely. I know some people don't like me to talk like that. But uh, most of the beef is, uh, comes out in your pee. It's a diuretic. And um, since I eat mostly beef, seriously, maybe one, two times per week at most. So yeah, she's got little baby puppy poops. <laughs> That's allegedly what her poops look like, in case you were wondering. I will say for what it's worth is that she does discourage sardines and the sardine challenge, the sardine cleanse, whatever you want to call it, as a, a weight loss tool, and she discourages people from using it as a weight loss tool. But uh, not for weight loss. I don't want people to think, I'm just going to live off sardines and be full and just do that. No, because that's the wrong mentality. You want to feed and nourish your body the best that you can. So I think that's worth noting, even though, you know, I, I feel like that is at least part of what she's doing here. But I also do feel like she was initially, like, hooked onto this challenge because of the things about inflammation and stuff like that. And she also does give a thorough overview of the, the sardines, what they look like in the can. She shows the her favorite part, the bones and everything. Um, but I'm gonna spare you all that because I know I have people who are sensitive to, to seeing meat and animals and fish and bones and stuff like that. So if you're really curious about that, definitely do go watch Darlene's video. She, she gives you the full breakdown there. I will, however, show you the saddest refrigerator on the internet. Look at my refrigerator. Isn't that cute? Like, couldn't be me. The only things in my, in my refrigerator are an open can of sardines, a stick of butter, and a water pitcher. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I promise you I'm fine. So that's pretty much the long and short of the video. I mean, the video is much longer than what I have shared here, but a lot of it was either things she's already said in the other videos about the sardine challenge or simply just not interesting to, to me specifically. She does say that her next video will be um, giving an update on how many sardines she ate and also uh, maybe reading and or responding to comments from the other sardine videos. So I'm curious to see that. In the past when I've watched her on Twitch do like specific uh, videos about reading the comments and responding the comments. She gets a little, a little sassy. And for context, she uh, hasn't, for a long time, when we first found her, she didn't have comments open on any of her social media content. Anywhere on the internet that she had social media, she did not allow comments. And it's only been in maybe like the past six months that she's turned them back on. I also think she has really good boundaries regarding the internet and um, she does filter through those comments and she does let people know that she is not interested in, in reading or, or watching things about her. I'll just say that in context of the very first time I made a video about her, she did say in a video that people let her know that I was making videos about her. She said, that's fine, they can do that, I just don't wanna know about it. So I'm saying all of this because one, she said that she's gonna read through comments, and two, some people have hinted at me that she uh, references me in this video. <laughs> and and I have not watched the video, but there have been people who have suggested to me that it happened, and so I don't want to, like, act brand new <laughs> when it comes up, because I'm aware that she maybe doesn't name me, but alludes to somebody reacting to her content, and so I don't want to be fake about me already knowing that, okay? All right, so are you ready to watch part four of this uh, starting cleanse series. Let's get to, let's get to. Hi everyone, it's me. Hey. This is part four of my sardine challenge. <laughs> yeah, There's hi. a playlist link in the description of this video and on the end screen. 
you can start at part one and get caught up. I'm not going to go over all the reasons Stunning. why I'm doing this and how I'm doing this. So please start at part one and then uh, work your way through. Please. I do love a girly that's straight to the point. She said, I'm not going to sit around here and repeat a bunch of shit I already said. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it moving. Playlist link. I know a lot of you are not doing that because you ask questions <laughs> that have been answered in the videos, which is frustrating. <sighs> I don't mind if you don't watch my videos, but if I send you to a playlist link <laughs> and you don't go there, then don't, please don't ask me questions. Ooh. Sometimes there's some there's so many things about this woman I don't relate to whatsoever, but sometimes like I feel that 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 is such a real thing because I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, like I have a whole playlist of things for you to go check out or I'll be like, hey, I just covered this specifically actually with Darlene stuff like I mentioned in the recap we talked about the beef piss thing. I have mentioned that in other videos and talked about it and I still get questions about it. And in the same videos that people are asking questions about, I'll reference like, oh, you know, if you if you have questions about what's going on in this video, make sure to check out the last two that I did or whatever. And and people are still gonna ask the questions. And and I get the frustration. <laughs> and I'm also just like, I have to remind myself, like, you know what? Some people don't have time to go back and watch those other videos. They sure don't. And so you just you just either answer their questions or let them figure it out on their own or let somebody else in the comments come answer it. But I do I do feel that frustration a little bit. That that is a relatable quality of the Darlene Me Show. You didn't even bother to go watch the videos. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm going to start this off. Can you tell I'm in a better mood? I had a good sardine day last night. <laughs> I'm going to start I, with the... I am curious that this is her better mood because honestly she's giving the same energy as she gave in the last video for the most part to me. Maybe a little bit more energy than the other one, but she always seems a little grumpy to me to be honest. Uh, the sardine info for today, okay. from yesterday, since my last video. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about comments. Work. I don't think I'm going to have time to really read comments. I'm in a hurry again today, so I oh, got to no. get this video recorded and oh, uploaded. Oh, no! And, um, well, then what's the talk about the comments if you're not going to have a chance to read them? That's what I came here, here for. I wanted to see you respond to some comments on the, on the, on the screen. All is good. Okay, you know I suffered, um, not last night, but the night before, because I was hungry, uh -huh. but I couldn't imagine eating not only sardines, but anything. Okay. And I was kind of sad, I was a little bit mad, I was like, this is, you know, just, I, I, I want to be able to eat. Um, and my choices were, <laughs> eat the sardines, uh -huh. force myself, or skip the sardines altogether. I had already had three cans. So that was enough nutrition, I think, because Dr. Boz said so, and or I... <laughs> I do love how she said, I'm not going to repeat a whole bunch of stuff, but she really did just say all of this in the video that I just recapped for you, so this probably all sounds very familiar. It sounds very familiar to you. Could have um, just given up and eat beef, eat something else, and I did sure. not want to give up. I'm I also am fascinated that those are her only choices. Eat nothing, eat eat sardines, or give up and eat beef. Like, there, <laughs> there are so many other options. Doing this challenge. Now, today, my challenge ends at 5 p.m., uh -huh. but I have decided I'm not going to eat any beef after 5 p.m. Oh, wow. I'm going to stick to this for today, the whole rest of the day. What a sardine so queen. I started on... Uh, on Sunday at 5 p.m. Darlene the Sardine Queen, Darlene the Sardine Queen. Darlene, 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 Darlene the Sardine Queen. But then I'm going to be doing all of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I will have a, a final update uh, video tomorrow. I can't do any more updates. Okay. So last night, I kind of, I kind of wanted this to be the last one. I'll see what she has to say tomorrow. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll get another Darlene reaction out of me before the week is through. This has really been the Darlene week on my channel. To chill my sardines. Okay, when I did my video yesterday, I had um, opened a can for you. I you had sure only did. eaten one can at that point, and I told you guys. 
that I was going to uh, put the open can. I didn't want them right away, so I put them in a baggie. You sure did. In my refrigerator, in the can. Ma'am, for some, for somebody, for somebody who didn't want to have to repeat herself, you you've really just done the recapping for me. I didn't have to recap any of this shit. And. I knew, I knew I was going to really like chilled sardines because uh -huh. it's a little bit more firm. So I'm always keeping my sardines now or herring or whatever canned fish I uh -huh. have, not tuna. I'm okay with tuna. Um, you know, coming out room temperature. It's not a whole fish. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that in the fridge all the time. Oh, thank you so and much for that update. I showed you my fridge yesterday. Did you see? I have my water, my butter. It was so and sad, I Bestie. I that little can of sardines that I just put away. <laughs> it was the saddest ass fridge on YouTube, 100%. There's nothing else in my fridge. There sure was it. Wasn't. That's it. I have condiments and stuff in the door. And um, some things that still have to be thrown away, like my mother's grape jelly. She's been dead over for a year. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Let's, a year and a half. Yeah, let's a year and toss half. it, girly. So I have to take care of that stuff. Um, so I like the sardines chilled. Good and to know. I can't remember if my first can yesterday, I don't remember what I told you guys, if that was still like mustard or hot sauce or you, whatever. But I You said it was just black pepper, bestie. No, I told you. I'm gonna try just pepper, so maybe that was after. No. So my my cans after the video yesterday were with just black pepper. Loved it. Good. And I wanted great. to mention that I, I I'm not burping up fish. <laughs> oh. um, <and> <laughs> I will give it to Darlene. She has she has no problem with talk about bodily functions, which is fine. Which is fine. We all burp, we all poop, we all pee. We we do love the pissing and shitting and farting content over here on the Zachary Michael channel. We haven't really had a lot of it in a, a post-1,000 pound sister's world because there haven't been any new episodes of that show and that's where we got a lot of our pissing and shitting and farting content. Although I think Amber Lynn gave us a little bit. Amber Lynn occasionally gives us some pissing and shitting and farting content. And you know, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Foodie Booty, Flabby Bobby, Big Beautiful Me gives us pissing and shitting and farting content, but I'm not I'm not trying to react to her right now. <laughs> I'm trying to do that mess. Um, so, you know, I guess let me just welcome our new pissing and shitting and farting queen. And I was wondering about that. Now, I don't know what my breath smells like. I don't have anybody to ask. I don't <laughs> think anyone would volunteer to smell it. <laughs> but I don't There's, have any fish. That's probably somebody's kink, Darlene. There's something for everybody. I believe you can find the right person to, to do that for you if needed. Taste. And I have no indigestion. Uh, I am not burping up fish okay, at work. all. I don't work. know. Am I even burping? Maybe. But I, I'm nothing Nothing is fishy. Okay? Work. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you so I'm much. I'm nobody asked. Nobody asked me that. Um. So yesterday... <laughs> Why aren't you all asking about her fish burps? <laughs> Why aren't you trying to find out about them sardine burps, besties? Wow, I can't believe y'all. I had my first can, where are we? That was Tuesday. I had my first can at 1.30. Okay. And then I recorded and uploaded. And then I had a can at 5.30. Oh, God. Again, I thought, and, and that wasn't horrible at all. <laughs> I was, you know, significantly hungry, and I knew that um, I had it chilled. I was anxious to try that. I knew I was doing just pepper, so... I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't eat anything. I don't want anything. And I knew that if I was sick to my stomach at the thought of eating, period, I was just going to force myself to eat some sardines. See, and that is, again, listen, that, that that's my concern over all of this. Is like, I don't feel like you should ever have this relationship with food. Where you like, and this is just, again, my personal experience as somebody who's not a professional in any kind of way. But I never want to have a relationship with one particular food item where I feel like I have to force myself to eat it. I am 34. People have asked how old she is. I can't, she has said in a video before, I can't remember if it's 62 or 63, but certainly she's in her 60s. As a 60-year-old person, as a 34-year-old person... 
I'm not trying to force myself to eat anything I don't want to eat. And certainly, you know, sometimes you do have to take into consideration making sure you're eating healthy, uh, making better options, things like that. I'm not saying, like, have no, like, no boundaries at all, because <laughs> I certainly think, like, some of us do have to consider boundaries when it comes to food. But there's no reason I have to force myself to eat only sardines, unless it's the end of the world and I find myself in some kind of uh, nuclear shelter where <laughs> it's completely filled with cans of sardines and that's the only way I'm going to get any kind of sustenance. I'm not going to force myself to do that. And that's what's so wild about this is like, I don't feel like this is like a healthy mindset. Okay, so I already knew that. So at 5.30, I had a can, just one. And I said, if this doesn't satisfy me, I will have another one. So at 6.30, I had another can. Work. So that was my three cans. I had three cans on Sunday, on Monday, and now I had three cans in me that on Tuesday. That is wild. But again, that She did confirm that these particular cans only have 100 calories worth of food. So that's 300 calories plus whatever calories she's consuming through butter. It's early. And I thought, if I'm hungry when I'm in bed, I am not tossing and turning all night because sure. my stomach is growling and, you know, yeah, even as you eating the butter. It, as you know, should. It's just, I, I, I'm hungry. So, <laughs> hungry meaning not craving food, but I'm, I'm hungry that I feel the need to eat. It's almost like I have stomach cramps, you know, that I just, I want food in there. Uh -huh. I don't like to not eat. I like, I'm used to eating a lot, all that I want. Sure. A day for the past seven years. So at 10 o'clock, I decided I was hungry, hungry, like I needed to eat or I was not going to sleep good. So I took out a can of sardines. And if you ever hear me say smelts through this, because I've had to cut that out. For some reason, I just say smelts. I <laughs> love smelts and I say smelts, but um, sardines. She's done a pretty good job of cutting it out because I've now watched all of these videos and I don't recall her ever saying smelts. I took out the can. I was not in the mood, but I thought, this is going to be good. I'm going to eat this. I will sleep better. That is and wild. I'll be good with the world. Wild. And I, it up and I <laughs> took that first bite. And it was good. And I said, see, I, I am hungry. I'm, I'm actually hungry. I'm not convinced that you are actually enjoying these sardines, though. I'm just not convinced. If you had to talk yourself up to it, that it's just not checking out for me, bestie. And if you're hungry, it's not going to be bad. So I ate uh, another whole can of sardines. And I thought I could probably eat another one. But again, I waited a little bit. I didn't end up with another one. But, so, last night, yesterday, and all, I had four cans. Okay, so work. So, I was quite happy about that. Today, I haven't even had my can yet. I don't what time care is if it? I even only had one can. My challenge stops at 5 p.m. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm going to eat a can after recording this while it's uploading, and then I will eat my last can at 5. Okay. <laughs> because that'll give me at least two cans of sardines. She did She did say that Dr. Boss says you have to bookend it. So you have to eat a can right when you start, pay attention to the time, and then at the very end of the 72 hours, you have to eat a can again. Which is also fascinating, because, like, what if I'm not hungry at that time, you know? But, but here we are. And then for the rest of the night, I'm going to, I think I'm going to just do butter. Unless I'm really, really hungry, and I would have another can of sardines. I don't want to do any beef tonight. I want to do it just all sardines. Sardine That's queen. That's what I want to tell you about that. I have decided, at first I decided I'm going to continue with one can of sardines per day. But now I think I'm going to do two. Two how, of how, sardines. how do you figure that? How do you figure that when you're sitting over here talking about trying to force yourself to even eat them to begin with and you're going to force yourself now moving forward to eat two cans of sardines a day? <laughs> this is so silly. Like, it seems like it's, it's something that you do enjoy to some extent, just not all the time. So why don't you just keep them on hand for when you do want them? And otherwise, call it a day. And I'm going to try the mackerel. I might try the anchovy. <laughs> if I have salmon, I think I'll be buying just um, some fresh salmon. I would love to cook some fresh salmon. Okay. But I think I will start my day with a can of sardines. Live your eat truth. all the beef I want 
or whatever other meat. And I will be adding some other meats now because I had said after six months of high fat carnivore where I was doing really trying to do mainly beef. And she is so funny because she's like, I expect you to have watched every video in the playlist because I don't want to repeat myself. But I've heard her say this now multiple times that she's going to be reintroducing new, new meats into her life. I also occasionally like to introduce new meats into my life. What do y'all think? What do y'all know about introducing new meats into your life? Now I'm going to start adding things like some shrimp, and if I could get mm, some, some scallops around here, I don't even know Ooh, what that is. Scallops? I love how she says that. I love how she says it. She did live in Maine for a while, so I, I do very much trust however she wants to pronounce the name of seafood. I don't know shit about seafood. I don't like seafood. I've never lived in the Northeast like that, but I've never heard it pronounced scallops. But I want to do some of the things that I love. Those are very, very good for carnivore. They're not processed, but I am going to start tossing in some processed things. If I want pieces of kielbasa, like maybe a Work. two inch piece <laughs> cut up into two pounds of ground beef. That is also fascinating to me. She has mentioned this before too, but um, something that I don't think I remembered the last time that she brought it up was that she has talked about the one of the reasons along with dairy that she cut out kielbasa and other processed foods in the past is because the processed foods cause a lot of inflammation for her and it's really helped her ever since she cut that out. So I am intrigued now that she's like, well, I'm going to start introducing those back. To me, what it says is like, mm, maybe just eating beef and butter every day isn't enough, you know? Just to give some flavor, just to, you know, just to have fun. A party in my mouth. Ooh. We don't need a party in our mouths. We don't. We don't. I well, then why are you going to have a party in your mouth? Also, Darlene, what do you know about a party in your mouth? You know what I'm saying? I tell you guys that all the time. I just, I just I'm just excited. I'm excited about all of this and this sardine challenge. I guess good for my you. Excitement. So um, I'm going to uh, try to start my day with sardines and end my day with sardines. It makes sense that she would let she would let this sardine challenge excite her about introducing new things into her life because like if all you eat is sardines <laughs> for 72 hours, you're going to be excited about some kielbasa. You're going to be excited about some scrimps. Okay? I get it. It makes sense to me. Even if it's, you know, late and I'm really hungry for beef, I'm going to try eating as much beef as I want and then still having a can of sardines. <laughs> I'm very curious as to what the nutritional value of the sardines no, you're, I, that, And that continues to be the confusing part of this to me because you don't give a shit about the, the nutrients and vitamins you could get from vegetables and fruits. But you are curious about the nutritional value from the the sardines. It makes no sense to me. I mean, it makes sense that you would care about nutrients. That, that checks out for me. But it, it doesn't check out for me that you're only concerned about what comes from the sardines. Does for me. There's that. I will have a follow-up with uh, weights and, um, you know, pounds lost. She doesn't lost. care about weight. She, she says she doesn't tomorrow. care about weight, I'm but she will let today. you know. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta hurry up and get this done. Um, comments. Uh, I'm gonna start with this. Oh, and please subscribe. I have to wait till the end to say that. Please, <laughs> please subscribe. subscribe. To the channel. Okay. Honestly, truly do subscribe to her if you're if you're interested. Like I said, she does a lot of stuff outside of this sardine nonsense. Um, she shares a lot about her dating life. She shares... Um, just like all kinds of of mayhem. <laughs> so please do subscribe if you'd like. I actually look for some other carnivore challenges. I, I really enjoy testing things. That's it's not for me. I have said this in some previous videos, but obviously people are not watching my videos. I never would expect that. Please do not let me know in the comments or anywhere that someone out there on YouTube or social media, wherever uh -huh. it might be, um, is talking about me. Work. I have no interest in knowing that. Work. I don't care if they're saying good things. I don't care if they're saying bad things. I don't... I Listen, 
I have actually shared the same boundary. <laughs> so I really do respect that from Darlene. Again, I can't relate with her on a lot of things, but I do relate on that. And if you, I talk about it probably more on Twitch. I don't know that I've ever brought it up here, but like, I always prefer to just be in the blind when it comes to anything related to what other people have to say about me on the internet. And I know that might feel like a lot as somebody like me who talks a lot of shit. Well, I don't know that I talk shit. I do talk about other people and share my opinions about other public figures on the internet. And so I know, I know the inclination might be like, oh, you wanna tell me that somebody has something to say about me or this, that, the other. But I just really, prefer not to know about those things, mostly because I don't want other people's opinions about me to, like, impact both, like, what I say over here, right? Um, I don't, I already get accused of, like, trying to change my opinions to please Amber Lynn, to please people in my audience, to please this, that, the other, and I just, like, prefer not to know about that, but also, like, if people are saying some shit about me, I, I don't, I don't need to know that, I don't need to know that, I don't, I, they can, they can think that, I welcome them to say whatever they want to say about me on the internet, but I really relate to, like, let them do that. You don't have to tell me about it. Um, it's a little bit different when it's, like, people I'm covering. So, like, I'm pretty sure here Darlene's getting ready to talk about me. And obviously I've um, responded to things that, like, Amber Lynn has said because I cover her. Um, and so <laughs> I think those are a little bit different. When it's, like, somebody I don't know whatsoever, I don't need to know about that. So I do respect Darlene for having a boundary. I don't need to hear about it. For some reason, this series has gotten me a whole bunch of comments uh -huh. about a certain person who's talking about me. Some of them let me know that person was trashing me. Some of them let me know that they said I didn't know what I was doing or what I was well, talking about. Okay, well, well, <laughs> let, me, let me pause there. Trashing is an interesting word, but you really don't seem to know what you're talking about. <laughs> Like, she clearly is not as informed as she could be about this, because a lot of it is like, I think this doctor said this. I I watched part of this doctor's video about this challenge. I think this was, so I do stand by that. I do stand by, if people are telling you that I said you didn't know what you were talking about, well, it's because I don't, I don't feel like you know what you're talking about, bestie. But the trash talking thing is interesting because... Um, I don't know, trash makes it sound like trashing, the, the concept of trashing somebody, I think makes it sound a little bit more negative than I think the vibe I have going here. Um, I certainly think it's okay to be critical of a woman coming on YouTube and being like, you should do this challenge along with me when that challenge could have like serious impacts on somebody's health and well-being. With that being said, uh, I think there's a lot of things about Darlene that I like and enjoy watching. Um, and so I have been critical, but I think we can be critical about all kinds of things, especially from people that we like and enjoy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess if, if that's what people took from it, if people got the feeling that I was trashing her, like, that's totally their opinion. I disagree with it. <laughs> but I would say overall, like overwhelmingly, a lot of people in my comments have been very positive about Darlene, have said that they enjoy watching her chaos <laughs> and her energy. Um, there have been people in my comments who are also critical of the sardine challenge, of the carnivore diet, of the way that she is practicing it all. Uh, but I don't think anybody said anything like truly disparaging about her. And I, I, that's the vibe of our community over here, you know? Like, at least in my comment section, that, that's the general vibe I've gotten on the Darlene videos. Why would anybody want to tell somebody that? Do you really think I need to hear that? It's enough that I have comments Fair on enough. and that I have to deal with just regular hate. But for somebody to purposely tell me that somebody else is hating on me, and I don't even care if they're not, <laughs> uh, there's no reason to tell anybody. I, I oh, feel so that. Oh, so-and-so is talking about you. I, I just don't get it. 
and I have had people tell me, knowing that I don't want to know anything, <laughs> still tell me. Well, and see, and that's that's where the problem lies, and and both you sharing that and me sharing that, because now inevitably people want to get a reaction, and so they're gonna tell you, <laughs> they're gonna tell you, and they're gonna comment. I will say that that's like the the double edged sword of of like acknowledging that you don't want people to tell you stuff like that. Uh, which is why mostly I try to just ignore it when people send me stuff like that. Unless it's somebody that I've interacted with a lot on the internet and I can communicate that boundary to them directly, uh, I usually just ignore it and then those people move on because they didn't get like the reaction out of me that they wanted. I know you don't want to know when somebody else is talking about you, but this person is <laughs> saying nice things and I'm sure you would love to go watch that. <laughs> nope. I am a businesswoman who never looks back. Oh, My okay. My journey is always forward. Okay, okay. Okay, CEO, boss, babe. Love that. I, I never look back. I only look forward. I didn't know we were going to get some lessons in being a boss, babe, today. Let's fucking go. I don't care what anybody behind me is doing. And obviously, if they're talking about a certain video that I did, that means I did the video already. So they're behind me. <laughs> they're watching something that I did and they're reacting yes. to it. Yes, yes. I, I don't need um, to hear shit. Honestly, ever. work. I have enough shit to deal with, with what I'm already dealing with. I Honestly, work, Diva. Honestly, truly, work. <laughs> work. I don't need to go to somebody else's platform and hear more shit. And see comments that are also shitty about uh, well, me. I don't need that. I, I, I mean, she doesn't care if I'm saying nice or bad things, but I will say I don't think most of the comments on my channel are, like, disparaging or, like, shit-talking her, to be honest. I think there are some people, rightfully so, that are weirded out <laughs> or, like, concerned, but... Uh, for the most part, nobody said, like, oh, Darlene's a fucking awful, miserable person. I hate her. She's terrible. Nobody's saying stuff like that. Oh, please, people, stop. And I don't need the good stuff either because what is it going to do for me? <laughs> it's time spent that I can be working on moving forward Work. constantly with what I'm already doing. Work. Is it nice if people say nice things? Sure. But... I don't know those people. They don't know me. Uh, you know, I I just, I just don't. I don't need it. And then, of course, if there I go in the comments, there might be some people saying, yeah, you might think she's nice, but I think she's a bitch. You know, <laughs> I just don't need it. Please, please stop. I deleted every single comment before it went public. So your comments she, were not seen. She does, she does, in fact, filter through them. She approves anything that gets to be posted there. So yeah, she she's probably not gonna give me any free advertisement <laughs> in the uh, in the comments. I would also be inclined to tell her though, like you know, it being from one boss babe to another, the more comments you allow on your channel, the the more engagement, the better your videos are gonna perform. But I don't think that that's something can that she's concerned with, especially considering that, like, she had her comments completely turned off for, like, a long time, okay? And her channel is still chugging along. But I was saying that the engagement could be better if you just allowed everybody to comment, and <laughs> that's that. Only you could see it, but now you can't see it because I deleted it. There so you go. if you log out of your account or whatever, you're going to see that it's gone. Or Work. even if you're in your account, it should be gone. Uh, because I deleted them. I didn't just hide them. I deleted them. And the other reason I would never let those comments out live, because so many people are going to go there to either <laughs> hate on that person in the comments uh -huh. or oh. cheer that person on. She's, she's looking out for me. She doesn't want anybody to come over here and hate on me. That's really, that's really respectful. That's very kind of you. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Darlene. I will say, I, I think a lot of her viewers would also enjoy my content, but, you know, I, I respect her hustle. I respect the boundaries she has set up. Yeah, I hate her, too. She's a fucking, you know, whatever. I was going to say a naughty word. <laughs> my favorite word. Say it. Say myself. it. Say you it. You know what I mean? Say it. Jelly bean. Um, <laughs> it's just... It's wait, just wait, wait. I mean, my wait, 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 here we word, go. But I stopped. Here myself. we go. 
You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Um, it's just, it's just... <coughs> Oh, it's okay, Judy. It's all right. It's okay. Ooh, ooh, dizzy. Ooh, she got me laughing so hard. I coughed up a lung. Oh my god. Oh, my face is so red. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to anybody. Work. Don't go tell people that somebody else is talking about them. Nobody I think he needs to know that. I think really the only part she's missing here is that the people who are doing that are really the people that are trying to stir stuff up, which is something I realized. Um, not immediately, but early on when people would send me stuff that other people were talking about me and stuff because they just wanted to get me riled up. They wanted to start stirring up controversy, drama, things like that. Like, I did get some comments from people saying like, oh, I followed Darlene for so long. Like, she, she gets a little, like, rage-filled if she sees things in the comments. So I think people do know that about her. Like, I think people do know that, like, you can get her going <laughs> if you say the right things. So, uh, she has given people a blueprint on how to irritate the shit out of her. Uh, but I do respect the boundary. And I would like to think that most content creators agree. I do! Unless they're just very curious and insecure, <laughs> and they have to go see what is being said. Mm -hmm. I'm not insecure when it comes, comes to yeah, my job. Yeah, I would agree. Career. Not insecure. Okay, so I don't believe that you're not insecure about anything. <laughs> I, I think I think you probably have some insecurities, but I I, I agree for the most part. Um, the other thing is, is I got bombarded by one particular person um, about the, it was just cut and paste, copy paste. She just pasted it on a whole bunch of comments about oh, wow. the mercury being bad. Don't don't worry about the mercury. <laughs> Watch this series. I talked to you about the mercury. She, and again, that person... I'm not repeating myself. I've already talked about the mercury. I will say so many people wanted to let me about the mercury. I was just saying about... I wasn't asking for, for a, a monologue, a lecture about mercury and fish either. I was just saying I don't eat fish, so that's never been a concern of mine that I would even know about it was all I was saying. I, I believe that there's mercury in fish. I gotcha. I heard you loud and clear, besties. I gotcha. Person got deleted. I wish I would have blocked that person, but you, I didn't think of it until they were all deleted. And um, well, there you I, go. If I see it again, and I had uh, told you in the video that a lot of people found that the sardines, you know, were disgusting. That sardines are disgusting, and one woman gave me hell for <laughs> even. Um, saying that I would show such a disgusting thing. And I could tell that a lot of people were just hitting me with a, a shitload of, those are disgusting. I can't well, believe you ate that. Why would you show anybody that? I'm not gonna yuck your yum, but it wasn't for me. Especially after watching you pull it apart and pull the bones out and things like that in yesterday's video. It's not for me, but live your truth. So I deleted all those two because it was just negativity and I could tell that it was half forced just by the people who love to I, leave a comment that I specifically say don't leave. I will go back though now to her comment about like, I'm not insecure about anything that I post or do on the internet. I do think that comment in combination with her here sitting here talking about all these comments that she didn't like and that she has deleted is interesting. I, I'm not saying that her going through and deleting them makes her insecure. I might be saying that her spending so much time defending her reasoning for why she deleted them might be insecure because if they are so stupid and you didn't want to give them time or energy and not let them be in your comments so that other people could see them, then why are we talking about them now? You know? Like, that... that is an additional question I do have. Because if if you just don't want to give them that kind of attention, they're still getting that attention from you. And they probably will continue posting these things in your comments with the hopes that you'll make another video like this where you'll address their concerns. Um, they do it on purpose, right? Because there's those kind of people. Absolutely. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. Um, so... That's why you're not seeing a whole lot of that's disgusting. There are some from the beginning, but uh, after this last video, I just said no. most of them. I didn't let you them said we're not. You, you can't slander um, my sardines. That's probably it for now. But other than that, um, oh, a lot of comments. 
Uh, go look at the comments. A lot of comments <laughs> saying that go, people have never seen Go look at the comments that I allowed on my channel. Go look at those. Seen a sardine, which it always sounds shocking to me. But yeah, of course we don't see the same things. And I have people from other countries, you know, who, uh, other countries never saw a stick of butter. They didn't even know what I was talking about. So I showed <laughs> That is true. Like she she did do that once. Or whatever they call them. You know, it's always interesting to me, and some people have mentioned certain fish that I've never heard of. Uh, what else was big in the comments? Let me look really quick. Oh, we do get to we do get to hear. Oh, pooping. Right. Wait, pooping. Pooping. Pissing and shitting and farting channel. Let me look really quick. My pooping. My pooping. <laughs> My pooping. Video. My pooping. I said that I go maybe once, at most twice per week. Um, which is true, and I've gone longer, and it's not constipation. It's because the meat comes out it's, in my pee. It's the beef very piss. Very poop left. Very it's the waste. beef piss. If you're shitting a big ass turd, you ate a lot of toxic <laughs> shit that your body just does not want. Little <sighs> tiny puppy poops. That means you did a good job. <laughs> and um, that's across the board for most carnivores. I, I love my fecal expert, Darlene Michaud. If there's carnivores still pooping big, it's because they're eating something. It could be um, a handful of walnuts thinking, oh, these are good for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's surprising. <laughs> so somebody said, I don't understand how you can <clears throat> poop only two to three times a week. Have you thought about getting a colonic? A, a colonic? I don't know how to say this. Colonics? Is that, I know what it is. I just don't know how to say it. Colonics where they suck. Isn't that what they do? They oh. like tubes. They suck the shit out of you. What do you know about sucking the shit out of you? <laughs> Um, it might help flush out anything that you don't need. So here's my reply. Oh, Not two please. to three times, but one to two times. I've gone over a week without pooping too. Why on earth would I want colonics? Anything I don't need is flushed out mostly in my pee. It's, it's the magical beef piss. You all don't understand. She, she pisses beef. Been carnivore for almost seven years. Do you really think there's seven years of shit stuck in me? People will say they're constipated. I'm constipated. I haven't gone in much in two months. Do you really think your body is holding two months <laughs> worth of food? You would have a stomach gigantic. You would be in pain. Do you think I could go seven years with all the meat that I eat? And I'm telling you, there's weeks where I eat. So I'm trying to add commentary, but this shit is, this literal shit is so funny to me. <laughs> so much beef, so much beef that there's, it's like, okay, even I start to worry after a week. It's like, mm, but no, I just trust the process. Just yeah, you quickly learn just that trust it's just normal. You can be very happy that if you're big on beef, that that beef is doing its thing. It's now, melting you think of the, the beef poop piss. With, you know, a few cans of sardines? No, that, that is not even anywhere close. I'm gonna need a few days of beef, you know, to at least get things started. But I'm not concerned about it. Well, and I know good it's for hard you. to believe. People think you're supposed to go regularly every day. I mean, I think that is what doctors recommend is that you poop at least once a day, but uh, who, who am I who am I to, to tell you? Darlene Michaud, fecal expert, <laughs> when people should poop. I'm not a professional. I'm gonna take my poop advice from Darlene from here on out. That's only because you're eating a lot of toxic stuff. But if you eat non-toxic, um, you're saving on toilet paper. And time, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd throw that in there for the ones oh, who hate when I talk about thank shitting. Thank God. Thank God like, you included it. I know something we all do. <laughs> we, we, do all, we do all piss, shit, and fart. It's true. Just like we're all dying. We're all gonna die. <laughs> People get so mad when I say that. Like, like they didn't know. They didn't know. That reminds me of a classic Amberlynn Reed tweet. She doesn't have Twitter anymore. You can't go find this anymore. But I do have the screenshot where she replied to somebody and said, Everybody's dying. Remember that. Oh! This shit, I just, uh, you can't make this up. You can't, well, you probably could. You probably could make this up. 
Because I still get people, you're going to kill yourself this way. It's like, well, I'm dying anyway, right? Aren't you? Aren't you? Person who says I'm killing myself? Uh, yeah, so a lot of that. I don't know what else, but I really got to go. Okay, bye. We'll stop with the poop image in your head. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to be thinking about poop worry, all day. Stupid. I'll, I'll know if I'm ever constipated. That haven't been, haven't been in seven years. Okay. <laughs> I don't work. Know, I wasn't want to get constipated anyway, but you know, you don't need to know all that. But, Darlene well, the poop shitting, queen, Darlene the poop Sometimes queen. No food. If you're in pain, or it's there, but it, it can't come out, or whatever, you know what I mean? There, there's ways to know if you're constipated, but if you feel good, and you're not pooping, not even little puppy poops. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> you will. The puppy poops will come out. <laughs> And, um, you'll We're still talking about look, poop, everybody, if come you can look believe. At this. No. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have anybody to show, because I would be, I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> Five days of, you know, <laughs> four and a half pounds of beef, and this is it? <laughs> so, okay, you guys, okay, I can I can only imagine the comments I'm going to get now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I plan on just sardines for the rest of this day. I will be back with a, a lovely update tomorrow. Oh, can't I'll try wait. not to talk about pooping. All right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh, look, I'm doing the, the high wave. Bye. Bye. Bye, Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anybody could say I'd be trashing this individual. This is this is quality content. I get to watch this shit for free on the internet. Can you believe? <laughs> Can you believe? Whew. Huh. <sighs> Anyways, that is truly all I have time for today because I gotta go. I gotta go take a little a little a little puppy poo. But if you enjoyed today's video, which I hope you did, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!